so here we have a stm32 blue pill connected to our laptop and then let us try to invoke the application the flash loader application so this is a flash loader application you can see here the the board the port doesn't appear that means the board is not detected this is because the board doesn't have usb bootloader so let us see how to um, install the bootloader on this board now we have connected uh, stm32 blue pill board to uart 2 ttl converter so which is plugged into the laptop here you can see here and from this uart 2 ttl you have u tx rx and then you have 5 volts and ground that are connected so luckily uh, the stm32 blue pill board has uh, 5 volt tolerant type opens which is very lucky so because of that uh, we have given 5 volts directly to this board here and ground these are 5 volts and ground and then we have a9 and a10 pins here if we slightly go underneath we can see a8 a9 a10 okay so these are uh, basically tx and rx pins which are connected to the corresponding rx and tx pins on the um uh, the ur2 ttl converter board as we connect the board let us try to invoke the demonstrator uh, the flash loader demonstrator and um we have seen uh, that we have converted ur2 ttl converter um and then use the stm32 right that means we are using the uart bootloader basically so now when you drop down you can see the board got detected okay which is on com6 so to program this board basically uh, we need a ur2 ttl converter now this basically uh, is a very tedious thing to do right we have seen how the breadboard is connected and it is very difficult what we would like is we would want to have a setup such that we can plug in stm32 directly and then uh, we um, want the usb cable to be connected and program it over usb rather than using this very typical setup of uart so to do that, to do that we will see in the next video what are the steps to upload a bootloader to stm32 blue pill board